Hello, it's Sarah. So today I want to talk about my Steampunk ATC swap. Uh, sweet and, what is it? Artandsassy.ning.com. Uh, I joined this and I didn't know that much at all. I hadn't really done a lot of Steampunk, no mini albums or anything. But then I remembered, um, I was at least a year ago that I had... I was into polymer clay and I got this book steampunkery and it's by Christy Friesen let's see if you can see that see and look at her cool stuff that's a chameleon the heart I mean she's amazing um, it's cforiginals.net you can go to her website I made him from the book it's just a magnet and he's just one-sided but he's steampunk. See, he has the gears. He has a buckle up here. And it's, um, she puts the coloring on there with, um, what are they called? Oh my gosh, I forget, but I'll think of it. Um, so I made these birds. These are actually free on the website. There's a tutorial for these, I think. Or actually, there's a YouTube video for it, I think. Um, this guy, this little heart and heart, heart uh, pendant with a screw in his head. That's free. I think one of these bugs was free. I don't remember. I think they're both the same. Let's see. They're a little different, I think, because I do follow directions because that's I can't think of it myself. But I mean, she does give you step-by-step -step, uh, directions if you're interested. But anyway, so I had done these. This is uh, another heart, another heart just with gears and stuff, and this heart. So, it's all Christy though. I do not think of any of this stuff myself. So, that being said, I went ahead and did my Steampunk ATCs. Um, this is my first, very first attempt. Uh, they had to be three different uh, ATCs, create three, and at least use three different embellishments. So that's embossing, anything, anything you know, metal, fabric, um, beads, anything you want. This one I actually did both sides. I just put uh, sentiment on the back and stuff. And this is just paper that I put. This is uh, two gears that I just cut out of an embossed piece of paper like this one. But I did. I wasn't. I mean, I liked it, but something about I don't know. So then this was the next one I made. And this is the one I'm going to use for my swap, I think. I really love the clock. I, I think the whiteness of the face plays better with her pale face as well. Um, I put a little birdie up top with a crown. And it's basically the same design, but I think I put a little bit more of her show. And that's a stamp. Actually, Kara at Art and Sassy had shown hers. And it was the same stamp. I had the same stamp by um, Stamper's Best. So I was like, okay, let me play with that. So I broke that out because, like I said, I wasn't, I don't have a lot of steampunk stuff. No, I missed out on the um, Graphic 45 steampunk debutante paper, which I love. So anyway, so then I just, and I just left the back of this one plain. I just uh, used Rub and Buff. I embossed it with a Gears embossing folder and then Rub and Buffed it with gold and silver. And just used some Gears from, um, some of them are s s from... Tim Holtz, but some are um, oh, at Michael's. I don't have my words today. Anyway, maybe I'll refilm this. <laughs> but anyway, so this is my first one. Pretty happy with that. A glossy accented her hat. I used um, the these pens, which I can't think of the name of them either. Jelly Roll pens to put like I did the gold gear in her hat and the silver and everything. I think I put a little blue on her eyelid for a little... Uh, eyeshadow but anyway so that's that one then this one I really loved this is a printout from ephemera's vintage garden it's a downloadable website um I had it I had her I hadn't done anything with the paper so I just fussy cut her out and glued her onto this uh I stamped what stamp is that that's like a hero arts stamp with just clocks all over it and again, I used the Jelly Roll pens and just put a hint of glitter on there. But these are wings. I got these at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it was just in the metal findings area. 
and I just embossed the back with the same clocks um, pattern and I put um, distress ink I used a purple and a blue I don't know what colors are peacock feathers and dusty Concord but I really like how she turned out and I put a couple gears on her hat did I glossy accent her hat oh I crackled it I crackled her hat so that's my second one and then this one I really didn't do a lot too because I had this paper again this is paper from the same um, ephemeras vintage garden printables so I just saw the hot air balloon and thought okay that's steampunk and then I had this little hot air balloon charm I had this compass throw a few metal pieces on and then this is the line from Jolie's stickers they have a steampunk line they have some butterflies and stuff like that but they had these hot air balloons so I thought that was perfect cut these little glasses out of the again the vintage uh, whatever this is called I just said it Summer's Vintage Garden and then glossy accented them but this I actually think this might be my favorite it's just so clean looking and nice and I don't know steampunky I guess I liked it then I made I just I made this one there's that's my three I'm probably gonna do for the swap I don't know I I made this one but I'm not like crazy about it it's just hearts and gears and then this one I just wanted to make another one of her because I really thought she was cool just to keep and I put a clock on the back so that's my steampunk swap let me see how much time I have oh man I should have timed that. I think we're six minutes um I also have my bottle caps for my swap at artandsassy.ning.com um I had done a video on how I made them but this is what I actually came up with oh, are we gonna yeah we can see this um I'm gonna keep this one but this was my prototype for a little uh holder for them you had to make three um, and just make sure that they had um, at least one bead dangle on them and uh, something to hook them to another project with. So these are my little angel ones. I got the printouts from um, Digital Downloads. This is a collage sheet of like bottle caps. So this is my little angels. But that was my prototype. And then these are what I'm going to do for the swap. I made three sets of three, but I put one in each set. So I don't know if you know what I mean. This one has, see, each one has an angel, so I did an angel, and each one has, like, a vintage lady, and that actually is in, like, a more of a, um, what color is this bottle cap? Like, a coppery color, and then I put copper, um, charms and everything, and then I did a butterfly in each one, too, and that's in black. I did a black bottle cap with a butterfly, so I put one from each of the groups I did, and this is the little angel, and I put an angel on each one, so that's the first set. And I just put my name and um, Serenity Crafts on the back. And you just open it like this. And this is my second set. So this one has a yellow butterfly. Another little vintage lady in copper with a heart. And then uh, another angel. I love these angel ones. They're so cute. So everybody gets one of each type. That's my second set. And then, which way does this go? Oh, it goes this way. And this is my third. Same again. I got an angel. This vintage lady came from oh, one of the Graphic 45 papers. I forget which one. And that's the copper. And then uh, this one, I love this one, how that turned out with the blue and green. And I just put, like, blue and green Swarovski crystals on that. So that's my third set. And then I got the idea for that actually from this. This is a um, it's a YouTube video and I didn't look it up to tell you. But it was for a, um, it's like a file folder that you make into this little notebook holder. But I thought that would be cool to like use to hold these and have a little presentation. A little place to put my information. So that's my swap stuff for this month. I actually am in the hat pin swap too, and I get those today, I hope. Joanne said they should be here, so I'm going to make some hat pins tonight. Well, uh, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching.